In this video, we are going to capture planet Venus through my telescope. Previously, about a month ago, I captured this photo of planet Venus when it was in its greatest eastern elongation. Now, after about a month, Venus has gone through several changes. About a month ago, Venus was in a half phase, but now it's in a crescent phase. This is due to because Venus has come a lot closer to us in the past month. As Venus has come a lot closer to us, it has become brighter in our evening sky. But as it's an inferior planet, it has gone a little bit uh, lower in the horizon. And just in case if you don't know how to spot Venus, Venus is currently visible in the evening sky just after sunset in the western skies. It is really easy to spot as it is the brightest object after sun and moon. Venus will not be this bright again until 2025. Currently, Venus is just about 67 million kilometers from Earth. So here I am on my telis, setting up my telescope. And there you have them, the arch enemies of astronomy, clouds and wind. I wish I had seen Abe the Forced past, but what I also can do. No! God, please, no! 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 It's currently monsoon season and I don't know when will sky be even this clear after this. Now I'll have to wait till that last patch of cloud is gone over Venus. So now clouds are gone and we can begin our capture, but the viewing conditions are still going to be very bad. I see you rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me Turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh gosh, she's such a tease Big lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase so this is the live view of Venus through my 10mm eyepiece at 100x magnification. I am using a Redmi Note 8 Pro mobile camera and a mobile adapter to capture this planet. As you can see the videos that we have got really wobbly as if we are looking through water. To stack this video into a single photo, we'll use three amazing softwares, PIP, AutoStagger and Registack 6. PIP's main purpose is to crop each image frame and select only the best quality frames to reduce the memory and processing requirements. Basically it's used for pre-processing of planetary images. After our pre-processing is completed, we'll then use AutoStacker to stack all the best frames in our video to minimize the influence of atmospheric distortions. So now we'll place some alignment points on our image and start processing. AutoStacker gives us an option where we can select how much percentage of frames we want to take. Once our processing is completed, we get images like this. This is better than the raw images, but we can get more out of it. So now, we'll use Registack 6 for our post-processing. This is the place where real magic happens. It is used to enhance images by adjusting wavelengths of our image. After doing all the processing, this is the final result that we got. Thank you for watching this video, please subscribe to my channel and like this video.